One in nine women in their lifetime get breast cancer. It's a very touching subject and it's sad and it's very real. You know, we all have sisters and mothers and girlfriends who have, you know, gone through this. So it's not so unusual that of this group of eight or nine women, somebody gets breast cancer, it's unusual that it's early and it's unusual that they can't stop it. On tonight's groundbreaking episode of The L Word, we lost a friend. Though Dana was only a fictional character, the emotions are real and her storyline all too familiar. Breast cancer is the most common type of cancer among women in the United States and accounts for one of every three cancer diagnoses in women. About 211,000 cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed this year, and over 40,000 women will die from breast cancer this year. Our show seems to be the one that's not afraid to talk about it with the kind of reality that we don't really see on TV. I'm happy that we showed a mammogram and what sort of treatments should happen and how to go about really taking care of yourself. We're so much more informed, all of us, than when we began this process. It was about the stories of our lives. What are the big stories of our lives? What have we all been through that's universal, that's unavoidable? And every one of us, every one of these writers who sat in that room in the beginning of the year had been through the death of a friend. And it's one of the biggest stories of life and one of the saddest, but it is a story. But for loyal fans of the show, one question resounds, why Dana? It really evolved for us that it would be Dana. We started out talking about Dana and what's going to happen to her, and at a certain point came upon the idea that she gets sick, that there's you know a health issue. Dana just felt like, here you have an athlete, a person who is healthy. There's nothing that guarantees you that, you know, that, that you're not going to get breast cancer. There's no, there's sort of, no guarantee of that. So it just seemed like Dana would be a really great character to tell this story about. We had no idea that it was gonna to lead to her death. It was only as we started telling the story or as the story started leading us that we realized that that was where it was gonna go. Erin is someone who we all really love working with uh, and who's always, who's taken this character of Dana and really like, like given her life and depth. I was wondering if maybe sometime... I would love to. Really? Okay. <sighs> if you go online and you look at the websites where they ask which character do you relate to the most, her character has the highest votes. It, Dana was always a character that I think people connected to. And Telling that story about a character as beloved as Dana is the way that it's going to have the most impact. Perhaps the shock has been hardest felt among the cast members who've grown incredibly close after three years of making The L Word. I was kind of uh, thrown for a loop when I found out that Dana was going to die. I was pissed. I was really pissed off. I thought it was really sad. Honestly, I felt, um, I, f I was sad because I loved Dana so much. I remember she, Erin ca called me when we were in LA and she just had her meetings that we all have before we go up to shoot to figure out what we're doing this season. And she calls me and I'm like, hey, what's going on? And, uh, and she's like, so I just had my meeting and uh, Dana gets breast cancer. I was like, Erin, I was like, what a great storyline. And she's like, and then she dies. And I was like, but that's great, what? <laughs> and she's like, and she does. And, and I was like, so what does that mean? Like, I couldn't, I didn't, I, I couldn't grasp it. And then it hit me and I was, I was so upset. And I still am upset. I'm not, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. I don't agree with it. When Aaron called and told me that this was happening, I, I was in shock for about a good month. I just didn't really believe that it was true. And I think when we got up here, um, we all sort of still didn't believe it until Obviously, the story started happening. Like, we just had the read-through today for episode 10 where, uh, you know, Dana does, uh, does die, and it was just so real and upsetting because that was it, and I don't like it. Walking onto the soundstage feels totally different, knowing that 
it's like the time counter has been ticked and now all of a sudden your days are counting down and and um, I just told myself I'm going to work my ass off and I'm going to come out of this um, with the best performance I possibly can and spend as much time with my friends as I can and have the best time that I can and just kidding and and think about the future it's really hard to think of this show without Aaron I can't really picture what that looks like fresh meat new blood crispy uh -uh. Story-wise, it, it was fantastic, but it really feels, and it still feels this way, that there's a missing piece. Erin has been part of our team since day one, and she's an essential player, and it's really hard to see her go. The hardest thing for me is not going to be my last day. Um, I've really resigned myself in my head, and I'm, I feel ready to move on because I've been preparing for it for six months now. So I'm pretty prepared to leave work-wise. The relationships that I've made and the friendships are going to be the hardest. You know, the girls on the show all live in L.A. I know I'll see them. Um, but the people that I've met up here, I'm either going to have to turn into a callous bitch or, like, go on vacation for two weeks because I, I won't be able to stop crying, which I'm not going to do right now. <laughs> but it's very sad. It's hard. It's really hard. The loss of Dana reminds us of the real champions in the fight against breast cancer. Our mothers, daughters, and friends. It's been said the more you love a memory, the stronger it is. And so loved ones lost to breast cancer are with us forever. And seen. Thank you. To help in the fight against breast cancer, or if you or someone you love has cancer and needs support services, please contact The Motner Project and the Susan G. Komen Foundation.